Hello, hello, my friends. This is Jen with Jen's Den Art, and I am going to turn my heater off so you don't hear that. Welcome back to another New Technique Wednesday. I hope you are as excited as I am because we took a couple of weeks off and we are back. We are back. I'm chewing on a, a, um, a mint here so excuse me for that but i am getting myself ready and i hope you are ready as well say hi when you get here hello miss lisa Miss Lisa, we are at negative 11 degrees right now. So yes, I have been trying to keep the fire going upstairs all day long. So yeah, it's been fun. It's one of those dreary gray white days. <laughs> and the snow is just falling. There's no stopping in any anytime soon either. I don't see it stopping anytime soon. So y'all say hi. Hey, Star. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Michael. Hey, Diane. Hey, Carrie. So glad y'all are all here. So if you remember, please excuse me. I'm trying to finish up this mint that I have in my mouth. Um, if you remember on our last three New Technique Wednesdays, today is the last day of this a series of four fruits that we are working on. I am going to cut a piece of this. We are working on using tissue paper for our background. And the tissue paper that I chose to use is something I got off of Amazon. It's just an old vintage newspaper, tissue paper. Okay, and so um, the main objective of this new technique Wednesday was basically just to show you how to Mod Podge this tissue paper on your painting surface before you start painting. And then what ended up happening to that whole um, series is we kept on thinking about more fruits that we could add to our group of fruits that we were painting. So it ended up becoming like a four series type situation. So let me show you what we did. We started with, uh, I think we started with the strawberry. Yeah, I think we started with the strawberry. Let me bring me down just a little bit. And I'm going to move my camera to be like that. Okay. So, hey, Carrie, what's for supper? I don't know. We haven't decided that yet. Michael has to work late tonight and we have, we might have leftovers. I made, if you watch, y'all need to follow me on my Instagram stories or on my Facebook stories, because I always post our, uh, like real life, what we really go through in real life on there. So you, you would like to watch that yesterday. I posted a recipe. Well, I posted also my, on my stories, um, our, experience it when we're in this negative temperature and it's like the frozen tundra that we're dealing with i don't know did y'all see my um my stories so yeah facebook user says my soup looked great well i just want to let you know the soup was amazing and we have enough leftovers for us to at least eat it tonight with maybe some um maybe some garlic bread or something to add on the side but um uh, but yes Yes, you saw me starting the tractor. <laughs> so yeah, I have to go out there and I have to bundle. The recipe of the soup is so super easy. I'm going to have to give it to y'all. I made a, um, a chicken. What was in it? Chicken, cheese, and broccoli soup. So we're like all about soups at this time of the year from gumbo to whatever kind of soups we can come up with. We're all about eating soups at this time of the year because it's so cold here. So, um, so yeah, I made that last night and it was so easy to make. And Michael, he all he loves when he comes home and I have dinner cooked, and he just gets so excited. So, um, so we sat down to eat, <laughs> and as soon as he took a bite, he was like. 
he's so funny y'all y'all think he's like this on camera but he's not he's like that all the time like that's his personality all the time <laughs> so he was like i'm gonna bring the rest of the soup for lunch and he forgot to bring it today and he works late tonight he doesn't get home till 7 30 so i'm probably just gonna heat it up for him so anyway yeah cheesy corn chowder the problem is michael doesn't like corn i love corn i love corn my mama used to make what's called a mock shoe okay mock y'all from the south y'all probably know what that is a mock shoe is like a, it had corn and beef and okra in it oh my gosh it was so good but michael doesn't eat corn so i don't make those kind of things so hey everybody hi nona hi judy I'm just chatting right now, but we're getting ready to get busy painting. So if you're just coming on, just say hey. And um, and yeah. Oh, Saskatchewan, negative 47 with a wind chill. Negative 47 with a wind chill. Okay, gotcha. Oh, Miss Patsy, you're beating me there. Yeah, awesome. We're just, we're just uh we're just chatting for a minute. We're getting ready to get started. Okay. So anyway, enough about the food. I could probably do another whole episode of, of recipes with y'all. Okay, so uh, session number one, we did a strawberry. So this ended up not just becoming a one new technique Wednesday um, video. This ended up becoming a four new technique Wednesday video. So this was session number one. I don't remember which one was next. I think it might have been the pear. Session number two was the pear. Okay, so y'all can see them all. Um, session number three, which is actually my favorite, is the grapes. Okay, we did the grapes. And so today we are going to finish our series of four fruits with our Mod Podge vintage newspaper background. Um, and we're going to do a banana today. So not only are we going to review the whole process for how to make these, but we're also going to paint. We're going to paint a banana. So let me get myself situated in the frame of the video here so y'all can all see what I'm doing. I am going to put these three aside up here. So maybe you can see them just a little bit up there. And I think the colors are going to go perfect because I have a red, I have a purple, I have a green, and now we're going to do a yellow. So I think it's going to be super, super perfect to get all of that. And you think I would have gotten my Mod Podge out before we started the video, but I did not. But here it is. Okay, so I have to try to open it. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go, live on camera. I can't open my Mod Podge. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> is this not my life every day? I have my phone right here because this is one of my phones because I was pulling up a, a, a picture of a banana so we could see a good picture of a banana. while we are painting all right let's do this i'm going to take a, a pretty pretty old um paintbrush nothing special and i'm going to mod podge the bottom layer now remember if you've been with me through this whole process you remember that um i painted the board first it's a six by six board okay i painted the board first with white paint i painted the board first with white paint okay and now i'm coming back with um and i let it dry and then now i'm coming back with a pretty thick layer of mod podge this uh, paintbrush is very stiff and old so it's kind of making some streaks, but I'm going to, I'm going to just lay it on there pretty, pretty thick. And then I'm going to just take my finger. I don't think it really matters that it's really 
streaky. And then I'm going to put my paper on here. I'm going to try to be as straight as I can. So I'm looking at this little line up here and I'm trying to make it. Okay, so step one is, well, this is actually like step three. Step one was paint the, the board white. And the reason why I paint it white is because if I didn't paint it white, that, um, that the brown from the wood would really show more than um, anything else. And because I really want this newspaper, this tissue paper to pop, I went ahead and, uh, and painted the background white. And it really makes a huge difference in, um, in the surface, you know, the, the, the look of the background. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about tearing off all of this just yet because we're going to just sand the edges later on. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to start with my banana. And so let me look at this banana here and let's see. I definitely need some yellow. Let me see where my cadmium. Here we go. This looks like a good color. This is, um, what is this? Cadmium yellow dark. Okay, so if you're new, let me know if you're new. I would love to know if you're new because I'm, I'm sharing some ideas and things that I've also, I've shared in the past, but I'm just like restating some of the things for those of you who have never watched me before. So you see this little black square right here? That is, um, that is telling me that this paint that I have in my hand right now is an opaque paint. It is going to cover really, really well. Okay, and that's what I want. This paint right here, and I'm going to show you the difference. This says, see that little, I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see if I can, there we go. Okay, this one is a yellow medium. This one says semi-opaque. See how it's got half of it has the, the black square and half of it is white. Okay, so basically that means it is a more transparent paint. And I'm going to show you the difference if you can see right now. Now the colors are a little bit different. One of them is more of a golden color, but I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to show you. So this is the semi-transparent. Look how, look how you can see through that paint. Okay. This one is an opaque paint. So look how much thicker and look how much more it covers. All right. So that makes a huge difference in, um, in your paintings. If you are using craft paints, most of your craft paints are more on the transparent side. That's why they're craft paints. They're cheaper paints. Their pigment is not really strong. So you're going to have to put more and more layers um, if you're using craft paints. You can do it with craft paints. Don't worry. So um, let me see if I can get this to stay up. All right, so let's try this. I'm going to grab, let me grab, I'm just going to grab a, a, a regular round brush. I'm going to dip it in the water. And I'm actually, I'm just going to start with this opaque. My phone's not going to stay on, is it? I'm just going to start with this opaque yellow. And I'm going to start. I'm actually just going to draw it out with the paint. Okay, so I'm making that little loop down there. Let me try to keep my phone on so I can see. And I'm going to go ahead and let me find my little area where I can. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little. So y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, hopefully that's better. Now my, the shape of my um, banana may not be as beautiful as the shape is here of this real life banana, but we're just going to do the best we can. 
And okay, so my banana is too small. You see how I'm not using the whole area and I'm off to the left? I'm gonna make him bigger. Let's go way over here. And wet my paintbrush again. And I'm still a little bit off. Okay, that's a little bit better. This is a really, really rough sketch of a banana. But you know what? It's okay because we're going to make it work. Okay, I'm just going to cover the whole area with. this yellow and then we're going to start worrying about all of the uh, the shading and the different shades that we have going on okay so my first layer all i'm doing is just covering it up to give me a better solid surface to work with and by solid i mean visually all of the all of that stuff going on in the background let me see if i can um change the it looks a little blurry to me does it look blurry to y'all let me do this hang on one sec okay so let me try this instead i'm going to come down and maybe that'll work better. Okay, I like that a little better. All right. So all of those, um, let me get this thing to stay on. All of those, that busyness back there really messes with my eyes. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give myself more of a solid surface to work with so that I don't see all of those words and everything back there because that really messes with my eyes. So I'm going to um, grab my black and I'm gonna put just a teeny, teeny bit of black on my palette here. And I'm just, I mean like so little, I'm not even hardly did y'all see how little I put? I might do a little bit more. And I'm going to grab that same. Now, be careful because if you put black and yellow, it's going to make it green. Black and yellow make green. Okay? So, be very careful. Don't, don't put too much of that. You might want to do more of a brown color instead of the black and that would make it work better. I'm gonna fill this in a little bit more. And I'm gonna get some green. I'm just kind of trying to fill that in a little bit more. And I'm gonna get some white. My white little tube thing got stopped up. So I'm just pouring it out of this jar, this little bottle here. All right, so the white's gonna make my yellow. I'm still using just this one yellow, but I'm gonna make different shades with this yellow. The white is gonna make the yellow much brighter. And you can see at the top, right here there's a really bright shade so i'm going to start there and then at the bottom on this area right here you can kind of see a little bit of that too so i'm going to start there now that's only one layer of a bunch that i'm going to have to do let's see i'm going to try 
I'm going to try a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of yellow ochre. It's like a gold. All right, it's like a gold. Can you move the phone down a little? Is that, did I move it down enough? Is that good? If I move it down anymore, my paintbrush is going to hit the phone. So, um, is that better? So I'm using... Y'all see how many messages I get a day? <laughs> Why I don't answer all of them? <laughs> Have y'all been seeing all the messages come across my phone? I get so many messages a day. It's unbelievable. So if you need anything from me and you have any questions, please remember to email support at jensdenart.com. That is the way you will get in touch with me or with Cindy, one of us. We'll help you out. Okay, so that's going to work a lot better than the black that I was using. And this is basically just the, um, the yellow ochre. I'm coming back through. And that is basically the beginning of our banana. What do you think? Let me see if I can save this photo, save image, and then I'm going to go to there. Yeah. And then I can make it bigger like that. So y'all can see it. All right. So I just pulled a banana off of the internet. I, I do not have the rights to this banana <laughs> to paint this banana, but um, I'm just using it as a reference photo to figure out how to you know, how to paint a banana. And I, I, uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. I hope y'all do too. Okay. So I just added a little bit of black right on the edge of the banana there. Okay. And then I'm going to go back. I'm kind of just kind of letting it dry a little bit. I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab just a teeny, teeny bit of, um, of green. Very, very teeny bit of green. Let me show you how I'm going to do this. I'm going to take a palette knife and just grab like that out of my green container. Okay. That was the first yellow. What was the first yellow I used? Um, so I didn't even use the other one that I put on my palette. This is a from Golden. It is called Cadmium Yellow Dark. Cadmium Yellow Dark. And it is very opaque. So it covers extremely well. The other yellow that I put on my palette that I may not even use is it's this soft body acrylic. This is a golden heavy body acrylic. Um, this is a Liquitex soft body acrylic and it's yellow medium Azo, Azo, Azo and it is very transparent. Okay, which is probably not going to do us much good. All right. Let me see if I can keep this alive right here. Okay, the green. I'm just going to touch in this green. Very, very. Very, very light. And that is extremely too bright. So I'm going to add just a teeny bit of black in it. It's going to kind of make it more on, a, on the gray side. So this is a good lesson on mixing colors because we're doing a lot of mixing here. Trying to make a darker green there. Let 
Okay, now let me grab some yellow. There we go. That's more what I want. A little bit of that yellow. There we go. Okay, so what I did, that works a lot better. So what I did was I mixed this green, which the green is, by the way, if you were wondering, it's just a liquid acrylic grass green from um, Hobby Lobby. And it's super, super bright. It is a super bright green. And um, I mixed it in with the yellow and the white. And then I took just a tad bit of the black and it made the perfect green see this area right here that's what I'm focusing on so it made the perfect green to go right in there and then I'm gonna come even though this is not black I have black on my on my uh, palette and I'm gonna come back with the white I'm just making my first layer up here I'm going to get some brown on my palette in a second. Okay, let me grab a teeny bit of um, burnt umber. I'm going to show y'all. I just had my burnt umber. Oh, there it is. I was working on a commission piece earlier today. And I was using a lot of burnt umber because the commission piece that I cannot show y'all, but I'm painting a uh, I'm painting a piece for someone that has the cutest little dog in it, and so I was using a lot a lot of uh, of burnt umber in the uh, in the commission. It's probably going to take me about a week to do this commission because there's a lot of detail to it, and there's a person in it. So, you know, y'all know how hard people are to paint, right? All right, so I grabbed a little bit of burnt umber. It does not have to be perfect. It's playing around in the white and the burnt umber up here. Okay. Ugh, I got mine today from Blick. Hope you get yours soon. What are we getting? Golden paint. Ordered Blick two weeks ago, but I have not received my order yet. If I ordered some paint, Look, I ordered all kind of stuff and nothing can be delivered right now to my house. <laughs> I keep on getting messages that um, UPS could not deliver to your house because we live so far up in the boonies and it's been snowing so much. So I haven't ordered anything lately because I know I'm not going to get it right away. Okay, we're coming along pretty good. Let's start going back with another layer. I'm going to add some more yellow right on the edge right here. So I'm ready to almost do the same exact thing again, but I'm going to have to add another layer because um, I really don't want all of the letters in the newspaper to show through my cute little banana. So I'm just going to make everything a little bit thicker and then I'm going to start adding a little more detail as well. Because you can still see some of that newspaper behind here and I don't want that.
So this is mainly um, yellow and white on this bottom area right here. I'm going a little bit too thick. I need to slow it down. And then I really like the addition of this yellow ochre. It really allows me to um, have those different tones of yellow in there. A little bit of water. I need this to be a little bit darker. I really want that contrast right under here. I really want that contrast between the lighter yellow and the darker yellow. So let me grab a teeny bit more of my yellow ochre. Golden better than the other brands. Um, I do like the golden a lot. I'm not going to lie. Yep, I think I do. I am definitely enjoying the goldens a little bit more. Okay, so I'm, I'm putting on a little bit darker um, yellow ochre to give me a little bit more of a contrast. And I want y'all to pay attention to something. This is when you have to really squint to see what's happening. I want you to notice it's not just two shades, okay? There is a dark, there's a dark shade. I'm going to show you here. There's a light shade here. Then there's a, a dark shade line here. Then it gets lighter again, okay? So I want to make sure that I, I show that and I keep all of those different varieties happening. So I'm going to still use the same colors, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to lighten everything up just a little bit by adding a little bit more towards the yellow underneath there again. So that's my third shade of yellow. Can y'all see that? It's not quite showing up as much as I want to. Let me add just a little bit more white to it. So right here is going to be another lighter shade. A little bit of white and yellow. But it's not as light as the top. It's just a little bit lighter. And I'm going to start bringing that in. Now I'm going to start kind of merging all of those colors together so that they don't look so broken apart. I don't want to stay, you know, like white, then yellow, then gold. I don't want them to stay separate like that. I want them to all kind of merge in together in some places too so it doesn't look too, too harsh. So this is when you think that a painting will take you just a second and then you realize that there's so many different shades happening in the painting even though it's just, I want to show you something else I'm noticing. I want the edge right here to go closer to the top. Even though it looks like it's a really quick painting, when you start getting into all of those different shades, it ends up taking a lot longer than you think it will. But something that I've learned is the more time you spend on a piece to add all of those different layers, most of the time it just ends up getting prettier and prettier and you're more and more proud of your work. So if you get, this is just a little, a little um, information to tell you for those of you who struggle. 
if you get to the point where you feel like it's just too hard or, you know, you've, you've failed, there's no such thing, no such thing at all, okay? You take a step back and you just take, take a week off of it if you want, okay? Notice, do y'all see behind me? I'm working on something back here. And as much as I wanted to, so this happened to me yesterday. As much as I wanted to continue working on that particular piece that's behind me, and y'all will learn more about that eventually. Um, I'll share y'all my process. But as much as I want to um, continue working on it, I had to force myself to stop working on it because this is what happened to me yesterday. I was working on it and I was getting frustrated. I was trying to force myself to work on it because I was trying to finish it. And I was like, you know what? I can tell my body's getting tired. I'm getting hungry. Um, I just need to take a step back and I need to not try so hard and trying to finish it today. I just need to allow myself the time to, um, to come back to it later. And I'm so glad I did because I came back in here this morning and I was like, oh, it looks so much better than it did to me yesterday. Yesterday, I was getting so frustrated with it. I was going to, you know, just like say, nope, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm just going to throw it out. So I took a step back. I walked away from it. I turned all of my lights off in my shop. I went upstairs and I started cooking supper and getting the tractor ready. And, um, and I felt so much better about coming back in here today and looking at it. And I have a totally different perspective on where I was yesterday. So I say all of that to you just to let you know that we all go through those struggles. And I'm using um, yellow ochre and, and um, burnt umber right now, if you were wondering. I kind of mix those two together. See right here? Yellow ochre and burnt umber gave me a really pretty kind of like a brownish yellow that is working so much better than the black that I tried at first. So yes, upgrading your brushes helps a lot. Yes, indeed. That is definitely, you don't realize what you don't know until you actually go ahead and like try something else. And then you're like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I haven't discovered this later or earlier. And I do it too. Michael fusses at me because I have been, I need a trash can. I mean, simple things like a trash can in my art studio. Do y'all know I don't have a trash can in my art studio? I use a trash bag. And I just lay the trash bag next to me and I, I prop it on the doorknob or something like that. And he's like, why don't you buy you a trash can and like set it up in a nice little area right next to you? And I'm like, because I don't want to spend the money on a trash can. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? But you know, it would make everything so much more convenient for me instead of having a trash bag that I have to move around and move it out of my way. You know, it's like, why do we do that to ourselves? Why do we, why do we not allow ourselves the convenience of having things that we need that are going to make our lives easier? You, you use Walmart bags too? Yes, I use the trash bags and I just, and then they get in my way. I trip over them because I'm just laying them on the floor next to me. <laughs> You use the popcorn cans that come out of Christmas. Now, this is what I use a lot. I um, it's it's almost sentimental because my mama, when I was taking care of my mama, this is what we used because it had a lid on it. You know the um, the cat litter plastic box, pl the big plastic containers you get from um, PetSmart or all of that, and it has the little lid that pops open halfway. Um, we had one of those next to my mama's bed when I was taking care of her, when she was, um, going through her cancer treatments and stuff. 
And uh, so that was our trash can for her. And it, so it's kind of sentimental. It's like, oh, I want to use this in, in, my, in my shop. It, I know. I'm weird like that. Are y'all weird like that too? I don't know if I should call it weird, but you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, this, this brown and, um, and yellow ochre is really working out well for me. I like it. We're going to just touch right on the edge down here. Cause there is another, another little little bitty area down here that I'm trying to lighten or darken up. Okay, for the most part, I feel pretty good about it. I'm going to grab a different paintbrush that has a little bit more of a flat end to it because I'm going to add my, um, my shadow. Let me wet it first. So I'm just taking a flat paintbrush. I'm gonna grab some white and some black. Y'all see this cute little shadow down here? I'm going to actually add that. And it's going to make such a difference. Watch this. Watch how it just pops off of. So I'm focusing on more black right on the edge of the bottom. And then I'm going to come out with a little bit more on the gray side out this way. And look how it just, it created this grounding effect that just, it just made the banana just come to life, you know, at least it did for me. Did it do that for y'all? I'm just kind of dry brushing some of this gray on there. See how good that looks? I love this. So I might have to find a place to hang these four pieces in my kitchen because I really like them. Let me go just a teeny bit darker right there. Let me make, I'm going to just touch, 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 touch and make some, you know how like when you have a banana and they have like a few little like rotten spots on it or like browning spots on it, I'm just going to kind of play like that. What do y'all think? I think it looks pretty good. Just look, things like that make a difference. Yeah, little things like that make a huge difference, don't they? Yes, I ordered eight little tubes from Michael's. It's called the Landscape Colors. Are you talking about the Golden Open? I use Tidy Cat buckets for lots of different things. Yeah, I love those buckets. Good enough to eat, Miss Judy says. Good enough to eat. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, let me... Um, Ugh, let me find my sander. It's been a while since I had to use it, so no telling where it is. Hang on, let me see if I have it. Let's see. Where's my sander? Oh. Let's see if it works. I have to put the battery on it. Oh, we have power. Okay, so let me get my, I'm going to raise this up so y'all can see better. And I'm going to stand up for a sec. All right, so everything is pretty much as dry as I think I need it. You can use a block sander, y'all. I'm just, I love my little electric sander that I have. You do not have to have an electric sander to do this. But what this is doing is basically cutting the corners of my piece for me. And then I can just pull off the edges. 
all the way around. And we're not quite done yet. We have some finishing touches to add to it. Oh, this is sticking right here. So let me see if my sander can help me out. Okay. Looks pretty good. I love acrylic paints because you can do so much in such a, a short period of time because your paints dry so fast. All right. And then I'm going to take, I still have some black. I'm going to take a palette knife. I'm going to take a palette knife, just a basic old palette, palette knife here. Oops, I have some yellow right there. I don't think that's a big deal. And then I'm just going to grab some of my black over here. Just kind of scrape it on really, really thin on the back of my palette knife. And then I'm just going to take my palette knife and I'm just going to slide it back and forth. And that black paint is going to kind of just kind of frame this out. It doesn't matter if I get more on some spots than other spots because it's just going to look really rustic. And I like to even go into the painting itself. Look at that. It kind of, it kind of, um, outlines it a little bit because there's a little bit of texture from the paper already there. So when you slide that palette knife over your painting, the palette knife is basically just kind of touching the, the, uh, the raised areas. All right. And then if you want, maybe you can even add just a little bit right there underneath to make it even a brighter black. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to scrape it on the sides as well. Okay, well I just used up all of my black paint on my palette. And I think I like it. What do y'all think? Let's look at all four of them together. Let me move all of this out the way. So look how pretty the colors are too. Everything looks really good. Y'all can see them there. Aren't they cute? Look how good we did. I'm so excited to see your pieces. Um, now don't forget share your share your artwork with us in our free acrylic group make sure you share it with us because um we love to see your work and remember every tuesday we do a, a share tuesday where you can post any artwork that you've been working on in the comments in my free acrylic group so make sure you go to the free acrylic group which is called what is it called, Cindy? Help me out, or if you're there. <laughs> yeah, in this set, so cute. Um, it's called Jen's Den Art Free Acrylic Painting, maybe, or something like that. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> if you're around, Cindy, and you can find it, can you put the link to the free group in here so that people who aren't in the free group can go ahead and get in and join in the fun? Okay, so I am so glad that you guys came on today and shared this with me. I want to just give you a couple of updates that are coming up. Um, the tribe is closed. I've closed the tribe down, so you cannot get into the $35 a month membership now. 
We are working on our January paintings right now in there. We just finished our Cardinals, which was actually a, um, a mini tribe painting. The mini tribe painting is still, or the mini tribe stays open all the time. So you can get in the mini tribe anytime. And this is what we did. This is what we did in the mini tribe and the tribe. And then the rest of the month, we are going to be painting a barn and we're going to be painting um, an indoor scene with a comfy couch. And we are going to be painting, what else are we painting? What's the other one? Oh, the berries, the one back there. Y'all see that one back there? We're going to be painting that one as well. So that's what we're going to be doing in the tribe this month. And then um, in February, we have a whole new set of paintings that we're going to reveal come close to the end of uh, January. We're going to reveal those paintings. And this is going to be our Valentine pop-up paint party. Once I finish this, this is going to be a piece that um, we are going to do for a pop-up paint party. So we have all of those fun things coming up. And something else that I want to let you know, on January 9th, we have the Fab Four, which is um, me, Elizabeth Road Studio, Miss Tracy Creates, and Create with Christy. We are all doing a free workshop for all of y'all. So if you go to this page, Jen's Den Art, you will find an event that we opened. And it is called um, Word of the Year Free Workshop. So we're doing a free workshop January 9th. January 9th, which is this Sunday night. We have a free workshop. We're each going to hop from one Facebook page to another every 30 minutes. So it's going to be a two-hour event. It starts at 7 p.m. Central on January 9th. And um, Miss Tracy Creates is going to be the first person. And I'm going to be the last person because my, uh, my, um, my time frame is mountain time. I'm an hour behind y'all. So it's not as late for me to go, to go live. 8.30 Central for y'all is 7.30 Central for me. So that's not late for me. So that's why I'm going to go last. Okay. So we'd love for you to join us. We are all going to do something special with our word of the year, and we're going to share it with all of you. So, um, so yeah. Yay. Yay. I know Miss Nona, I love the monthly reveal too. Because it keeps me on my toes. It makes me have everything ready in advance. <laughs> and sometimes I need that little push. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Well, I think, let's see if I have any other questions. Woohoo. Love the pop-up. Will, seal the, will I seal these paintings? Yes. I'm glad you asked that. Um, the first one that I did, which one is it? The strawberry. The strawberry has been sealed with Mod Podge. It has a little bit of a shiny sheen to it. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and seal the other ones just with Mod Podge. I'm just going to cover them with Mod Podge. That's going to help keep that tissue paper down. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So let's see what else we got. Um, thank you, Miss Cindy. Yes, this is, that's the group that, um, that you can get in if you're not in. Love these. I've done the strawberry and the pear on five by five and four by four. I'm working on the grapes. Excited to do the bananas. Yay. Thank you, Miss Pat. I'm so glad that you're enjoying it. So Kathy says acrylic 101. That is, I'm not sure what, um, what we're talking about. Oh yeah. Which one is your favorite? That's going to be one of my posts today. I'm going to post all four of these. I'm going to ask which one is your favorite. So Quick and easy block sander. Yeah, that'll work. So good. Um, I enjoyed today. I hope you all did as well. And um, we'll be back in the tribe on Monday and Tuesday. And then we'll be back to the public on Wednesday. So y'all have a great week. Let's hope that we're not snowed in for the next few days. <laughs> Love you all. God bless. Y'all have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.